you saw me do my own makeup, you, you would say, get John Adovino in here fast. I have come in with five minutes before air, no makeup on my face, hair a mess, and John just like poof, makes me look great. John gives me what we call the pop. When I got in here this morning, I, was, I looked like Gary Coleman on a bender, but now look at me. I'm fabulous, 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 fabulous. All because of the cosmetic artistry of John Adovino. For more than two decades, John Adovino has been the makeup artist of choice among many of the biggest names in news, entertainment, and fashion. From Cindy Crawford to Billy Crystal, Salma Hayek to Montel Williams. He knows if they're going to be the natural type. He knows if they're a diva. John makes both the women at GQ and the guys look much better than they do normally. And John Ottavino does my makeup for Inside Edition. So it should come as no surprise that the cosmetic industry's biggest names also turn to him. We've got celebrity hair colorist and Revlon spokesperson, John Ottavino. And not only as a spokesman. One of the greatest things about John is his ability to teach. We're going to create a character tonight through the use of television makeup. I thought it would just be a little bit of fun instead of doing a standard television face that we should be able to change our lovely model into a character. When I walked onto NBC set for the first time and saw Tom Brokaw, he had 22 eye lights. And I had to study each and every one of those lights to know whether or not I can use a color here or a color there. I've worked with a lot of makeup artists in my career. And you know they show up with all their brushes and lots of powders and lots of blushes, but they don't necessarily know what they're doing. John knows what he's doing. From the corner of your mouth, to the center of your ear. I want you to draw an imaginary line, and I want you to cut that line in half. Lips here, they're immobile. They're absolutely, they don't know that, but they're absolutely immobile. We love that. <laughs> We're gonna disappear for one second. I've been doing TV, promoting in style magazine for about nine years now. Angela's here with must have for the fall season. And I've worked with a few different makeup artists, but John still is my favorite. He sees the trend coming and he enhances it um, without making someone look too trendy. When I bring him with me to QVC and he does my models and he comes with me on air, not only is he making me feel secure because not only does he beautify me and fix my hair and makeup up like nobody's ever done PS, but he also gets to work with the models and puts them at ease. Fantastic. Thank you models and thank you Johnny for doing beautiful makeup. And thank you. John is very helpful teaching about lighting just because a lot of people don't take that into consideration as one of the most important factors. And this is really going to help me know what looks great on camera, what I shouldn't do on camera, so it gives me some great new ideas. A kiss on the hand, maybe. I have worked with the best in the business, in my own opinion, and I would say John Adovino is among them. John Adovino is an artist. Without him, I would look like Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah in the first half hour of The Color Purple. Something in this mailbox for me! Men grow cold as girls grow old And we all lose our charms in the end But square cut or pear shape These rocks don't lose their shape Diamonds are a girl's best friend